Hi, welcome to part 8 of this learning management system tutorial series. Today we're going to go through these five tasks. We can begin by adding validation to the comments form. So if you try to submit this form without the name or content, you'll get a little of notification on top here or above the button. So if you go to the Visual Studio Code and find course.view, then I can scroll down to the submit comment method. But first I just want to add one more property here, errors, like that. So we can have a list of errors we want to print out. So then I can scroll down and find here. So then I can say this.errors equals an empty array because I want to reset this every time we submit the form. And then I can check if this.comment.name equals blank, then we want to add an error. This errors.push the name must be filled out oops filled out and the reason I want to have a name even though we have a user connected to the comment is if you want to comment under a different name than your username now we can copy this and do the same thing for the content this.comment.content and the content must be filled out and we only want to submit this form if there are no errors. So we can do that by saying if this.errors.length like that. Sorry, if not this.errors.length. And then to show the errors, we can scroll up and find the form here with the submit button. And then here we can say div class notification. And I want to loop through all of the errors if there are any. V-4 error in errors. And V bind dash key error like that. So that's unique this element. And then here I just want to show the notification or the message. Error like that. So if you now save this, go back to the browser, click on one of the lessons, try to submit this. You will get the name must be filled out and the content must be filled out. Great. But we also want to add the is danger to the class so it looks more like an error. Perfect. And that was task one. So now I can set this to done. And another problem I discovered in the last part was that when you add comments, they are not added to the list here. So I need to fix that as well. But that's very easy. First, I just want to check in the back end that we get everything we need there. So if I find views.py, then for the add comment, instead of returning this, I want to return this comment. So I can use the serializer, just copy this. And then I want to pass in the comment, which was just created here. And then here we can just say serializer.data. So then we return a serialized version of the comment we just added. Great. So now I can go back to course.view and fix the rest here. Because now we will get the comment from the server which I want to append to this list. So then here when we get the information from the server, instead of showing this alert, we can say this.comments.push and then response.data because this is a comment object. I think this will work if I save now and then go here and try to just open up the inspector to see if there are any errors. Then Stein the content submit. Response is not defined, of course not. Response. Try one more time. Stein content to submit and now it was appended to the list there. Great. So then we get immediate feedback that the comment was added. So now I can set this task as well to done. Next I want to convert the course list object to a comp component because right now we are showing them like this but I want to convert this here into a component. So if I take this card just copy and remove and up here in components I want to create a new file 
course item dot view and here I want to create an empty template tag and paste in what I cut out from the other part. As you see here we use a few of the properties from the course. So what I want to do then is to make this a property of this component. So I need to add a script tag, export default and then props and then here I say data as an array course can just be an empty object for now like that script and then save this I come back to this I just want to make sure that the component is working and then here we can say course item like this soon I want to pass in the course here and if I scroll down now I want to import the component we just created import course item from at slash components slash course item dot view and then we need to register this down here components like that that might be wrong let's go to slash courses and see yes now it's not working but if we do this instead to convert this to an object but they are still not showing and that is because we don't have access to these variables yet so then we need to fix that by adding the mounted lifecycle hook here mounted this dot course equals this dot props dot course and then go back here and then when we initialize or use this here we can say course course just add the colon here so we bind this value so if i now refresh it's not working okay i did something wrong in the course item because we don't need to do this we can just say props like this create a list and then here we say course so now i think we can save this refresh and now it's listed as it was before but now we can use this object here other places as well and that's very good to have so then i can go to the to-do list and set this task to done next i want to load a few of the newest courses on the front page of the learning management system and I want to show four courses here. So if I then go to views.py up here in the in the course app, I want to create a new view just for the front page. I can make a copy of this. And instead of returning all of the courses, I just want four of them. So zero colon four. This will split and give us just four courses. Get front page courses. And save and I need to add this to the urls.py page so here we can copy this get front page courses slash and you know this would actually match on this but since we add this above this dynamic URL it will match here before this so it's important that we have this above these ones then here we can say get front page courses and save so now we have a URL endpoint which will give us the four newest courses. Great. So if I now go to courses.view, I can make a copy of a little bit things here. So I can copy, like first I can copy this import because we're going to reuse this component. And I can import the axios here as well, like that. And I can copy this data array, the components. And actually the mounted lifecycle hooks as well. So then I can just paste it here. And then instead of saying courses here. Or just courses. I want to say get front page courses. Slash. So now we should get this information to the front page. But we are still not showing it here. So at the bottom of this columns, I want to add an HR. Just to separate this a little bit. And if I then go to courses.view, I can make a copy of the courses list. 
or at least this, so I copy this div. So it's not too many lines just to show the courses on the front page. So if I save now, go back here, go to the front page, you'll see here that we get two of the four courses. You can also see that we are using uh, one third of the screen and that will be wrong since we have four courses. We need to change is4 to is3. So now it only takes 25%. Great. So then I can go back here again, set this task to done. And now I just want to add thumbnails to the courses. So instead of showing this placeholder here, I want to show a real thumbnail. So first I need to go to settings.py and make a few changes there. I want one constant to show or to point to the website. Website URL equals, and then I want to copy the address that I have in the console, which is this one. You need to end it with a slash. And then at the bottom here, where we specify where we have the static files, I also want to add media files. So media URL, everything starting with slash media slash is media files. Then media root, we need to specify where on the server we should upload this. We do that by saying base there, slash, and then slash, media, slash. We need to remove that slash, like that. So now we have done everything in the settings file. We also need to change the URL's py file a little bit, because we want to use these constants here. To do that, we say from django.conf import settings and from django.conf.urls.static import static now we can append the media urls at the end here static settings dot media media url and document root equals settings dot media root now we know what the URL is and where to put them. Then we can save this. Just see in the console that there are no errors. No. Nice. Then we can continue. So the next step then is to add a field to the course model. Because here we want an image. So first I want to import settings as well here. From django.conf import settings. I will show you soon why. And then here at the end I want to create a new field. Image equals models.image field. And I want to specify where this should be uploaded to. Upload to. Uploads. This will be put in automatically into the media folder. Don't need to have a slash there. Blank equals true. And null equals true. In case we don't want to have image for this, specify, uh, this course. So it should work now, but I want to create a new function because if you don't have an image, I want to return a default URL. And to do that, we can create a new function here, a new model function, def get image self. If self.image, then we know that we have an image and we can say return settings.media, no sorry, website URL plus self.image.url. And if we don't have, we can return the Bulma image inserted. So if I just copy this address and say return like that. Next step then is to add this to the serializer so we can get it when we get the course list. So we can just append it to the list here. Get image, just like the other properties. So now I get an error here because we don't have we haven't installed pillow yet. You can do that by stopping the web server and say pip install pillow. Pillow is a Python library for handling images, resizing and similar. Great. And now we need to update the database. Running make migrations and then migrate. Great. So now the image field is added to the course. We can run the server again. And then I just want to make it possible to show the image in the front end. So if I go back to course item dot view, instead of saying this now, I want to say course dot get image. I need to bind this like that so we can say this inside of the attribute. 
if I save now, refresh, we still get the image here, perfect. And then I can try to go to the backend and lo l upload a real image. So we need to go to 1 to 7 and log in. Great, so then if I go to courses and find one of the course here, then you can see here that we have a new image field. So I click choose file to find a file on my computer. So then I can select one and click save. And then if I go back here and refresh, okay, I get an error. You can see that the URL that we have some mistakes here, a double slash there, which should not be there. I can fix that in the models.py file, I think it was. I did that error. Yes, this should not, this website or the URL, which we have in settings.py, should not have the slash at the end. So if I just find it here, remove the slash, save, and then try to refresh. Then we now can see that we get the image here instead of the default placeholder. Great. So now we have images for this project as well. Great. And that was it. Hope you enjoyed this part. And if you did, please click like below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as I can. See you in the next part.